Hello everybody, Drifty here from Driftwood Gaming, and we have a special request video, a simple, quick little video for you guys. Um, Arkua Nua, the Red Mage, asks how to make items that convert MP to HP and skills too. So, to make items in, uh, that take MP and give uh, MP, that's really, really simple. You just go to armor or weapon or whatever you like and uh, set the maximum HP to a negative number and uh, give the maximum MP a positive number. You can keep it the same number or you can change it, it's up to you. Right here I just made a new armor, mage armor, said convert 300 HP to MP, uh, named it a magic armor, said it was a chess piece and did that. Super easy. To make a skill that um, converts MP to HP, um, you're going to need uh, a plugin. It's the Yanfly Engine plugin Skill Core. So to get that, you would just go to bring it over here, uh, Yanfly.mo, and then scroll down. Uh, you can click on News and then scroll down and get the the most recent version of the Skill Core. Right click that, save link as, put that in your um, plugins folder. If you don't know where that's at, I'll show you real quick. Um, go into your MV and then go to game open folder and then you go to your JS and your plugins. So you're going to save it and you're going to put it in there. You're going to click on this puzzle piece here and then you're going to double click on a free space and select Yanfly Engine Skill Core. Uh, you'll find it right there. Um, <clears throat> then you're going to if you, if you want to get in depth and this this thing this plugin can do so much stuff you can just scroll down here and look at all the stuff you can do with it. So I've made a skill called Sacrifice. It would be a good idea to copy paste all this stuff and put it into a text file. That way you don't have to keep re uh, referencing like I did that right here. Um, go into your database, go to your skills. And now I've uh, named a, uh, made a skill here called it Sacrifice. And uh, in the description I said spend HP to restore MP. And it costs 300 HP plus 10% of your max HP. And then for the the um, the damage you type, uh, you, the damage type you use MP recover. Element doesn't have to be absorbed. You can put whatever. I'm pretty sure it'll work. Um, the formula, how, however much MP you want to give them, is up to you. Uh, in this formula, it's a little different. I've made it um, the caster's magic attack divided by two, plus the uh, the caster's luck divided by two. And I've cut the variance in half so it'll be closer to the same amount each time. And I've decided uh, to not give it a critical for this. So what you're going to do, or you're going to use these, uh, is you're going to use these note tags to uh, make it, uh, instead of costing MP or TP, you're going to make it cost HP. So you just put in brackets HP cost, semicolon, space, uh, or actually a colon, space uh, 300 for this one, and then HP cost 10% for that one. Um, so then all you have to do then is uh, award it to one of your classes. We'll just give it to Drifty real quick to test it. Right click, um, edit a free space. I hate that bug. Uh, select sacrifice. OK. Hit apply. Save the game. And let's test it on some slimes real quick. Actually, I think I made it a, a skills. No, I put it in skills. So I think uh, Drifty doesn't have skills. So we're going to put it in uh, Tachi for now. But I'm going to put it back into skills after this. New game. We're going to fight a slime that's got a million HP. Um, and let's uh, use Sacrifice. And you can see the number at the bottom right there, or in the middle. It's saying 433. It's automatically calculating 300 and 10% and putting it into one number. Also, the, the icon uh, is giving you a red uh, orb symbol instead of a, a green one. And I like that. They're all color-coded. For MP, it'll be a blue one. TP is green, and then uh, red is the HP. That's pretty pretty decent. Now let's see how much MP it's going to give us. Oh, so the problem right there is we gave the MP to the slime, so that's a bug. Let's go, um, instead of HP recover, let's go to, uh, or MP recover, let's go MP drain. And let's uh, see if that'll work. Now, I don't know if it'll surpass uh, the enemies. Where's it at? Enemies? Uh, if he doesn't have any MP, I'm not sure if it'll work. But uh, let's test it with and without real quick. So you can see we took damage and we drained MP. We got MP back. Um, let's 
Uh, let's try not sounds. Let's try to uh, let's see if it'll work if they have no MP. There's a I, I know another way to make this work. Okay, zero. Okay, so this there's uh this will work if you want to make a drain skill, but I think what you're asking about is just to make it a recover spill. Uh, so we'll go into effects, right click here, and we'll make it uh, just recover a set amount. So we'll say that's quite a bit. Let's say 50, 50 MP. Edit this. We actually don't want to give a percentage. Or maybe you do. Um, actually, that's not a bad idea. Let's go with like uh, 10%. No, nope, let's say about 20%. Yeah. And you can play with these numbers. So you'll recover 20% of your MP for 10% of your HP and 300. But then we also want to get rid of this. Go ahead and go to none for that. And uh, we're going to change the scope. We're going to put the scope to self cast or the user. For that, apply that, hit OK. And now we'll test it out. So this is actually uh, a few different methods that you can do to get your, your MP back uh, more offensive or defensively. And there you go. Well, I hope this video helps you guys. It's just a, a quick tutorial on how to make items that convert HP into MP. Um, check out Yanfly Scripts. He's got tons of good ones. Um, thank you guys for uh, watching this video. If you want uh, to subscribe to the channel, that would really help me out. And uh, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you in the next tutorial.